Hello, everyone. Welcome to June, halfway through the year in 2023. Uh, today, I used Martin products for the first time, and this is what it did for me. Okay, so the first, uh, this is the first time I've ever taken them. I went to my local run store. Uh, shout out uh, Gazelle Sports here in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. And I, uh, I got a, a nice running shirt, and I've always been wanting to try the Martin products uh, ever since I finished my marathon. So I decided, hey, why not? So I bought uh, just a packet of the 320 uh, mix and, or packet, whatever you want to call it. And then I also bought a little 100 cal, 100 calf uh, packet as well. So um, here is how I implemented them uh, before my eight mile run today. So I looked at the back of the package. It calls for 17 ounces of water. I mixed it in. And uh, for this first time user, I needed way more than that. Um, I used an average bar glass here. Uh, thank you, uh, CTA uh, store, Transit Tees in Chicago. Um, I needed way more space than that because the the packet filled up probably pretty much half the glass here. Uh, and this is, I don't know, your average bar glass. So my 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 tip to you guys is mix it in as big of a cup as you can find or a shaker if you can get it. Um, it, they weren't, they weren't kidding when they said gel, because it was like, the only thing I experienced before it was drinking like six or seven GU gels all at once. It was very, very gelatinous. I don't know how you drink that during a race. Um, but I took it about 10 to 15 minutes before my run and it actually started, you know, I, I worked through the warm up and it didn't have any issues. Um, up until, you know, I had some slight ones, which I'll talk about in just a second. So during the run, the results were kind of a mixed bag for the first four miles. Uh, and I had kind of some extra gas or not like burping stuff coming up through my throat about it, but it wasn't too uncomfortable. My first mile was pretty good. It was a little faster than I thought, but then the next three were kind of slow. Um, and maybe that's because I also took a GU energy gel literally like five minutes before the run actually started after my warm up was done. So maybe I'm mixing too much, but I'm pretty green at this. So uh, if I'm wrong, go ahead and tell me down below. Uh, so 43 minutes in, I get to my fourth mile. I'm no fast runner. Um, I go to take the 100 cal slash calf gel. And uh, this was the same kind of gelatinous or viscosity as the 320, if not even harder to do. I had literally had to stop and try to get that thing, uh, you know, down the tube. And, uh, but I, I felt this, I felt the 100 cal slash calf uh, moved uh, through my body pretty quickly. And actually I could feel the effects uh, working pretty well. Um, you know, the, my final four miles were much better. Um, my goal was to run eight miles in less than 90 minutes. On Sunday, I managed that by about 30 seconds. And then today, I managed to beat uh, that time I set on Sunday, which was an hour 29 and a half. And I beat that by three, just about three minutes. So um, it's really kind of interesting to see how using it for the first time can really come in and potentially change everything and how you do it. So would I use this again? If these are gonna be the results I get all the time, oh then hell yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh, it would cost a pretty penny because it's the top on the line right now, or one of the top, uh, especially because Elliot Kipchoge, hopefully I said that correctly, uh, you know, to my knowledge pretty much made it famous, but I could be wrong. Um, you know, I would probably take the 320 much earlier than what I did, basically 10 to 20 minutes before my warm up was actually completed. And um, I would also uh, keep the Cal 100, Calf 100 gels because I really liked how fast those worked. And especially at that point, I think the caffeine really was the game changer at that point, but it was, it was a good way to uh, you know, end the run. So, um, and I, it, maybe this is a byproduct or maybe this is just me being a salty sweater, but I really had some crazy salt stains on my arms pretty much everywhere over my body. Uh, but that's probably just me being a salty sweater. So um, if you are a salty sweater, you may see more distinguished salt stains or whatever you want to call them uh, on your arms after this. But you rehydrate, uh, just watch yourselves and you'll be all right. Um, 
only other thing I had in there I need to mention is that you know I drink water. Uh, I had a bottle of water and a and a great uh, Powerade. So um, all in all, I think Martin, if you use it correctly, and once you get more used to it, it can be great. Obviously, it helped uh, Kipchoge, uh, you know, set an incredible record. Uh, but I would, if I had the money and I could do it again, I would. So. Um, thank you to all those new subscribers who have joined the channel here. I think there was three of you in the last week or so. I uh, greatly appreciate it. If you like this, you want to see more, of course, like it and then subscribe it. Okay, I always put it at the end because how are you going to know you like the video and you want to subscribe if I ask you at the beginning? So uh, that's your reminder. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, good luck on your runs and all of your future endeavors.